in this video, I'm going to be talking about how dog people are complete and utter trash. Okay, so maybe that was a little bit harsh, but dog people can be really mean. You can go if you want, baby. <laughs> if you're a dog person, if you compete or you breed dogs or you groom dogs or you're a vet or you just have social media, you will probably have seen some really, really nasty things. I'm in Facebook groups where people are talking about how ugly dogs are. Right, don't get me wrong, there are certain breeds of dog that I don't think are particularly healthy and therefore I wouldn't own, but I'm never gonna say that dog is really ugly. People genuinely hate a dog because it's ugly. And it's got comments after comments of people saying, oh, that dog is disgusting. Guys, this is someone's baby you're talking about. I used to do a lot of fun dog shows and I feel like the word fun is kind of ironic sometimes. You get the worst people there. And actually, I was terrible. It really made me into a nasty person. In the end, I had to take a step back and say, no, Jodie, you're awful. Kids were winning competitions and fair enough, maybe they weren't as good as some of the adults. Guys, this isn't a championship show. This is a fun show. Let the kid win. A kid used to win and I'd be there like, you didn't deserve that. Jodie, how dare you? Once I was that kid. We need kids to be encouraged to do stuff because then we have a whole new generation of people coming in to the dog community. The whole reason I am in the dog community is because I went to a dog show as a child and I won a rosette. Literally, that was the best thing ever. So I couldn't believe myself when I was stood there thinking, oh, that kid didn't deserve it. I think sometimes we complain about people, but actually it is us as well. And it's so easy to do. I don't think it's inherently dog people are terrible people. I think it's just so normalized that everyone just does it. And that is so wrong. As a dog community, we are weird enough as it is. We don't need the rest of the world to hate us even more. Everyone thinks we're freaks anyway. We better get along within our group. <laughs> Something I used to do a lot, and there are times when I'm still very, very tempted to do it, and then I think this is not productive, is when you see a video of a amateur dog trainer slash just an owner who is training their dog in a non-ideal way. So like, with lots of force. And people share it and say, this person needs to go to hell, this person needs to be locked up, this is why capital punishment should not have been outlawed. Guys, this is probably a first time owner who has watched certain dog trainers on TV acting the exact same way and thinks that this is how you train dogs. I used to do this, I'm not proud of it, but I was not the most force free dog trainer in the past. But people learn. I think actually, let's, try and help these people instead of bullying them and making them feel like they're not wanted in the dog community because we need people we need new people and if people were that rude to me when I had just started out I definitely would not be here right now with three dogs as a mental dog youtuber what I don't like is when people are using a lot of force with their dog and claiming to be a dog trainer themselves so that is completely different and I don't want to get into an argument here but what I'm saying is let's not shoot first and ask questions later let's help these people to develop into incredible dog trainers next thing on the agenda there's so much rudeness this person has a pedigree oh, they must be a snob this person has a crossbreed oh, disgusting you're contributing to all the dogs being put down in shelters this person's a dog groomer you're evil! This person's a vet. You're giving my dog chemicals! Dog breeder. You want all dogs to die! You show your dog? Eugenics! Guys, we're fighting a war with ourselves. This is civil war. We just, we just do it all the time. Like, I don't think people even think about it anymore. This week, I've had two friends come to me and say that they've had really, really nasty comments about their dogs because their dogs were successful at Crufts. Surely, if someone has worked really hard with their dog and is successful at the biggest dog show in the world, we should be giving them a round of applause, not be writing horrible childish things on Facebook about them and their dogs. That is ridiculous. Guys, grow up. And yeah, 
I am jealous, like I've mentioned, I get jealous of people all the time, like I used to be jealous of kids, which is mental, but I still get jealous. When my friends are competing at crafts, or the, my friends are on TV with their dogs, I'm sat here and I'm thinking, Jesus, you guys are so cool, I'm so jealous of that. I'm jealous of how cool your dogs are, I'm jealous of all your opportunities. That is fine. It's fine to be jealous, it's just acting out on your jealousy is not fine, that's really childish. So I can sit here being completely jealous of my friends, but then saying, well done, you did amazingly, because they did, and they deserve all of this success that they're getting, because they're the ones who put the work into their dogs, and they're the ones who are doing well because of that. Or I could be sat here, watching my friends do well, and be thinking, oh well, I wish I had that opportunity. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna moan about it online. If you wanna have these opportunities, instead of whining online, or behind people's back, how about you actually get your dog and put a hell of a lot more work in so that you can achieve these things. And your dog would love it because you're spending more time with them. Dogs are not jealous unless you give one dog more food and then they're like, dude, what are you doing? Um, but inherently, dogs are not jealous animals. They don't give a damn if they go into a competition and don't get a rosette. It's only you that cares. So how about you do it for fun and then it's extra fun if your dog wins. Actually, I totally get it. I get it when you get in too deep and you're so used to winning that when you don't win, you blame it on other people instead of your own training errors. I've done that so many times, more times than I like to think about. But once you stop getting bogged down about the precious! And you actually just remember why you got into it into the first place. The bond with your dog and the complete love of spending time with your dog. That's what it's all about. Guys, just remember to smile, breathe. If you see something that you don't like, take a deep breath. Try and find a way around it without making yourself look bad. Because if you're being rude, that reflects not only poorly on yourself, but on the rest of the dog world. And we really don't need that. Thank you so much for watching, um, peace out. Just before I go, I'm going to show you Bramble because she's adorable. Thank you, bye.